Hey everybody, this is uh, Delta 69 for Paw Productions. Today we're going to talk about building your um, your own uh, VOK or BOK blowout kit or ventilated operators kit for all the tactical super guys out there that want to rename everything. Uh, the reason why I'm showing you this is to you know help you save some bucks. Some of these kits are so basic and simple, but you're you're paying big dollar for them. And all the stuff that I'm going to show you is available online, or even at your local drugstore. Um, I was going to make this into several parts and actually describe some of the items here. Um, I think I'll save that for another uh, video. But we're just going to show you how to put these kits together. So, um, for all that, big disclaimer: you know, get training. Um, any kind you can get when it comes to first aid, the more the better. Um, so. But on to the kits. Most time when you buy one of these kits, they're going to supply you with some type of fancy pouch. Ooh, fancy. Then they're going to give you either some sort of uh, bandage like this. This is a blood stopper. It's basically a, a trauma dressing. Um, compress dressing, like these ones. Sorry about the Ziploc bags. These are actually out of kits I have. Like I said, I was going to do more than one, uh, one part movie, but I wanted to keep this one short. Um, it's going to be a compress and some gauze like in that Ziploc I just showed you. So you're going to have that style or they're going to give you an Izzy, an Izzy style dressing which is a trauma wound dressing, a compression bandage and it's going to be two sizes. They're either going to give you a six, a six and a four. Sorry about that. Um, you can pick these up. The, Izzy's I just showed you, or the whatever their different wounds, uh, wound, uh, blah blah blah. Sorry, whatever other companies make them, I just call them Izzy dressings as a Israeli dressing as a as a general um, term. You can pick these up anywhere on the net from four to eight bucks. All right, that's four to eight dollars. These style right here, you can pick up the same thing, three to four bucks. Usually, you know, through suppliers online or you know, in your drugstore, your gauze, doesn't matter what kind you get, you know, the four yards by like three and a half or four inches, you know, you can pick that up cheap, a couple bucks, usually three to four dollars, you know, get you some tape, and you can get some elastic wrap if you want, um, more than likely you don't, but anyway, the basic kits that they're going to sell you, they're going to have some type of dressing, so it's going to be boom, there's your compress dressing. They might put you in a thing of gauze. They might throw you in a thing of latex or latex free gloves. They're going to throw you in a set of shears. They're going to set you in some tape. And they might actually turn around and they might give you something like a some sort of a tourniquet. They'll be the like a ratchet uh, strap style like this older style. Or they'll have the SOF style, uh, or this. This is a, a CAT or a combat application tourniquet. Uh, it ranges anywhere online from 10 to 20 bucks, depending on where you find it. This is very. I've used this uh, in training a few times, and it's it's one-handed, simple operation, in and out. Again, get your training. I'm not telling anybody what they have to pack. I know some in some circles this is frowned upon, but that's why I'm showing it because it's part of a blowout kit. And this would be like what your basic blowout, you know, ventilated kit would uh, would entail online. There might be a a few other little odds and ends, like maybe some tri like a triangle bandage or something like that. But you're basically looking at you know five to eight bucks, you know. I think I got this roll of 3M tape at Big Lots for, you know, 50 cents. You know, your shears, you know, these ones aren't cool ACU smoke green or black or multicam or whatever. Yep, they're blue. You know, $2. You know, your gloves, I mean, cheap too. The gauze, same thing, a couple bucks. The most expensive items in this whole kit are going to be your dressing and if you decide to put some type of tourniquet in your kit. If you don't put this in your kit and you just rely on what you got here, which would be 
something that most people would have anyway and some of the most basic kits online you're looking at maybe you're lucky if you're going to hit fifteen dollars worth of stuff go online incorporate it with some fancy moly pouch from tactical such and such such and such dot com and guys are going to run you a freaking sixty bucks you know well that extra forty bucks you can take a basic first aid class somewhere or spend on more higher you know higher end um, gear or preps or build you better kits alright this would be basic some of the fancier kits like I said are going to involve all this stuff right here they might turn around they might give you another thing of gauze you know they might turn around they're going to go okay we're going to throw you in a 14 gauge freaking uh, IV cat alright you know there's people out there who know what that's for I'm not going to go into it for whatever reasons and they're going to turn around and they're going to say oh you know you need to have some type of airway and they're going to they're going to pop you an MPA that's a nasal uh, ah, tongue tied on a word anyway nasal there it is you can read it yourself well maybe it's basically a latex freaking noodle with a cup at the end you can get some of the other ones that are actually uh, hard plastic they'll throw in yet whatchamacallit the triangle bandage uh, they might throw in they'll give you some junk meds you know like single serving you know whatever OSHA kit you know Tylenols and everything like that and they're gonna run you up to like 80 bucks on it maybe even more like I said if you shop around all this stuff can be had freaking cheap you know even the MPAs and stuff even the caps on the stuff you find on eBay cheap cheap and cheap you know 50 cents right here for a triangle bandage you know and that's how you want to build them but your basic kit is pretty much going to be just that right there you're going to have your tourney you're going to have your compress dressing or some type of gauze dressing you're going to have some extra gauze and curlex to go with it shove plug holes wrap whatever you're going to have your gloves you're going to have some type of shears and you're going to have tape and that's right there's your basic kit like I said you take away this you know fifteen to twenty dollar item and you're under fifteen bucks for everything you need to at least get you a basic kit started on your gear for you know whatever for your you know your LBV or LBE and your line two gear for you know playing Rambo or even if you're just running three gun or if you're uh, just at the shooting range I mean this right here this setup right here pretty much identical to this sands one or two extra things is what I carry with me every time I go shooting either at a range or with buddies out in the woods or even when I even when I go hunting I always try to at least have an Izzy and some tape on me so and that's your basic blowout kit so you can go and find some company that's going to try to run you a hundred bucks for the same stuff or you can try to build it your own more importantly, I'd rather everybody save their money and build it themselves and then spend the money to get training on how to do this stuff. Like I said, you know, take your basics. If you want to take an advanced class, they're out there. Take them. So, well, I'm Delta. Um, sorry for the one piece, keeping it short, sweet, and simple and fast. But we'll get into some more of the other uh, first aid kit stuff that I carry in my Bob and some of my other kits uh, later on. Uh, Check out our, uh, if you want to send us some comments and emails, you can send us emails at uh, FLA Survival at hotmail.com. And you can also check out our uh, blog for uh, it's Florida Survival. Um, it's www.florida survival or FLA survival.com. Sorry, I keep messing up. And uh, check us out. Send your comments in, and we'll see you around.